Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a love reading or whatever comes out for the sign of Gemini. I did Leo's already, but I'm not really feeling it for some reason, so I think I'm going to redo it anyway. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do is get through some of these. But anyways, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. I really hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. Um, I do have openings for personals. Info is in the box below. Email me. I'll give you all the information you need. I'm wide open. Um, I'm wide open. I am wide open for openings and stuff, but that made me think of like being open and vulnerable or energetically speaking, I'm wide open, receiving information, ready or I'm ready to receive. So there's someone in this situation who's ready to receive messages, energy, your love, whatever. And it's coming from someone who was not ready before. Um, I don't know, there's a change of heart is what it feels like. I just wanted to start over and say my intro again. So there's kind of like do-over energy here. Like, can we clean slate this and start over? Someone wants to come in very playfully or that's your approach in the situation. I just heard girls just want to have fun by Cindy Lauper, but it's just enjoying the moment. Um, so this situation between you and another person could actually start off as like a, a friendship or just very playful banter being silly. Um, it feels youthful. It's almost like getting in touch with your, with your inner child. This person might bring that fun side out, out of you. I'm trying to figure out what decision to make here or someone is. So let's see. What's up for the Geminis? It looks like I got makeup down there, but I didn't. <laughs> took a shower and I don't know it's looking weird but whatever it is what it is I gotta wash my sheets it's time to clean house something's very complicated I just heard someone's making something seem more complicated than it really is it's like it doesn't have to be this difficult but it was really hard to let go of somebody Possibly because they were making things very difficult. <laughs> Could be on your end or their end. Um, yeah, I almost feel like I'm losing hope. It's weird because I feel like there's someone in this situation who has been trying to remain hopeful. Like, you know, um, that you'll get out of a complicated situation. That your life will just kind of level out. Things will run more smoothly and someone's realizing that there was a need to let go of people who were creating conflict and complicating matters more you know um because i don't feel like this is like i don't feel like a gemini is doing this I mean, they could be but whoever i'm speaking to it's just it feels like it's surrounding you and somebody else I just heard relationships are too complicated. So one of you was keeping the faith that everything would work out and it's almost like, okay, this is too difficult. I gotta let go. I'm letting go now because whatever's meant to be will be ultimately. Um, and then there's somebody else who's making like a mountain out of an anthill basically. There's different perspectives here is what it looks like. And it forced somebody to, to release the person or just to get out of the situation. And you're probably drawn to do so. Um, if any of you are having psychic dreams, visions, seeing signs and synchronicities, yes, they are. It's real. Um, what you're seeing and feeling and hearing is true. Um, but I also feel like you know that this person's gonna talk to you or that you're gonna get the information that you need. There is someone here who wasn't understanding some spiritual aspect here, and they are now. They're learning, somebody's learning something. Hmm. So let's see, what else is there? 
I feel silly right now. That's too much. <laughs> Somebody could just be taking a lighthearted approach. And it's almost like when you really like someone, you get nervous or whatever. And it's like, oh, well, the situation might not be ideal. So I'm just going to kind of flirt and joke around or whatever. And just make the best of a bad situation or something. I'll make the best of the circumstances. And through just being playful and fun, somebody ends up falling for someone. Fortune meets opportunity. Yeah, there's a change coming between you and another person. It's making my nose hurt. I also just heard that for someone, something you were doing was fun, but it's not fun anymore. So it's almost like you're losing this your spark or drive for a creative pursuit or a situation. It's like... I don't know it just it seems more difficult than fun and someone doesn't like that that's not for everyone that's just for someone strong intuition there's a strong intuitive connection here you're getting a lot of messages um from spirit <coughs> <coughs> it might be like a overload and it's like, well, this is just too complicated. All this information, what the shit. Um, also, there's somebody who watches tarot. And whether you know who the reader is or not, where, because with general readings, I just want to point this out. I know most of you know this, but there is somebody who watches this or will. They, they take on all the messages as their own. And with a general... You can't do that because it's, I mean, sometimes the entire reading is for one situation. It's just weird how that happens. But usually it's a message here, a message there, or the basis of the reading could be for you. And then these little pop-up messages aren't. So just only take on what feels right to you, not everything. If somebody was misinterpreting information and going, well, this is just a shit show. I don't want to fucking deal with this. I'm going to let that go. You know, like, it's something like that. I don't know. Someone's also afraid of... Maybe they're afraid of your intuition. It's not really fear-based. It's just... we We tend to... We tend to fear or be afraid of what what we don't understand. So someone was trying to have a better understanding and before it, it seemed kind of scary. Cause like, for example, there are a lot of people who look at any type of divination as the devil's work, especially if, you know, if their religious beliefs say that's what it is. But you know, me and many other readers practice in the light and it's very godly. It's, it's all love and light. It's, it has nothing to do with the dark side. Um, it's not black magic or anything like that. So someone's views were wavering is what I'm feeling. Struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs. And that's what I was just talking about. For some of you, there is someone here who is, it has to do with their religious background. Whether they are a devout whatever, you know, whatever their religion is. And... They practice on the regular, go to church all the time, whatever, um, or not. It could just be rooted in their family. Um, it's what they know. And it's almost like, I can't just throw away everything I've ever known for this, for this new... It's almost like I can't just change my mind. Yes, you can. It happens all the time. But someone feels that way. Like, this has been... I've known this my whole life, and now I'm questioning shit. Like, what? I don't know. Something like that. For someone. And just because you believe within a spiritualist or a spirituality um, and the other side and, and spirit and everything like that does not mean that you have to abandon abandon your original faith either 
Do you know what I mean? It's, you can integrate. And even if you believe one way and you're stuck in that, and someone believes another way and they're stuck in that, you can still integrate because why would you want to be with someone whose views are exactly like yours? You know, it, it keeps things fresh and interesting when you can have those conversations and stuff with another person. They can teach you, you teach them, depending on what the topic at hand is. Um, but someone was struggling with a difference is what I want to say, whether it's religious, speaking or not. So let's let it go. Someone is trying to let go of a family situation or a past lover, an ex, um, ready to release this love block. Yep. Someone's trying to let go of the blockages in their life, like anything that has been holding them back, basically. And I do feel like there was someone in the situation who just wanted to go back to the good old times. Like, you know, it was so much easier when we were a family, when we were together, when, you know, um whatever they're thinking it's just somebody's missing they're reminiscing and missing another person because they just want things to be a certain way and they're on a different page than the past person kind of thing and that's part of a hang up between the two of you because they're not moving forward ultimately and maybe you know this some of you are aware some of you aren't um, that whoever you're interested in is dealing with that because even if they're not physically dealing with that past person emotionally they are because they're just kind of holding out hope um, but like I said that's wavering and they're trying to let go because it's not going anywhere it's like am I really going to put my life on hold forever so someone's really thinking about how to move forward you are my lifeline. I can't lose you. Fortune and opportunity. Oh, fortune meets opportunity. I just heard you're my good luck charm. Someone's afraid of losing this friendship, connection, whatever with you because they were taken too long or because they feel like their life is just too complicated with whatever the situation is, whatever they're trying to release. It's like, I don't want to involve you or I, they just weren't available is what it feels like <coughs> somebody also lied just so you know did they lie to you yeah they lied to you about something and they might be a little upset like i don't really know how to restart this be honest because worst case scenario you get closure which is what i picked up on in a collective message so let's see geminems because I don't want these to be wicked long. What's going on for Gemini? Please and thank you. I just heard somebody has bad manners. Like, it's weird because I feel like this person, you and them have the same morals and stuff, like the same values. But someone isn't very polite, but yet they are. I guess it depends on the setting. Bad manners. Some of the situation might have bad manners. I don't know. Could have something to do with cussing, but for some of you, bad manners. Whatever that is. Anyways. Oh. flying away temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius I'm getting so sick and tired of my hair being everywhere I'm just saying what the fuck um, the rate that it falls out you think I'd be bald but I got a boatload of it so anyways some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius not necessarily the Sun and the moon are very significant lion's gates popping in my head as well and and the moon phases there's a clash the clash of the titans whatever that means to you but it's somebody could be watching that but regardless it's like opposing forces you know magnets when you turn them one way it's like whoop, together and then when you turn it the other they kind of fight each other and want to 
like shoot apart. You and this person are like opposing forces right now because only one of you is, I don't want to say only one of you is magnetized because both of you are, but one, one of you has your back turned to the other and I feel like they want to turn around, but they're, it's the intensity like might scare them. Yeah, because there's a block. Someone's got their ass turned around. It's like, well, it's a good thing you have a cute butt because otherwise they wouldn't be looking at you anymore. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this person's back's been turned to you for a hot minute. They were blocking out their own intuition, not just spiritual messages. It's almost like, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not really, un I'm not really understanding because I'm not really listening. They were just hearing and not fully paying attention. They weren't invested is what it feels like. Someone could be regretting that now, I'm just saying. But yeah, someone's intuition was blocked off. I feel like they're, cause you got strong, strong intuition. So I feel like one of you is very intuitive. You're tapped in, you might meditate, you might, you know, be a spiritualist, whatever you do, not all of you, but because we can utilize our intuition and have psychic dreams and these feelings and stuff even if you know we don't talk to spirit even if even if you don't see signs everywhere you can still get those feelings that's your intuition and it's like your gut feeling basically and there's one of you who's like right on point regardless of how you practice how you get your information and the other one is very intuitive as well but they're just like no blocking it off and it may it's making me think of my son so it's someone very similar because my son's a virgo and he's kind of like a leo virgo cusper but <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and <coughs> son of a bitch there are things that he sees and feels that he doesn't want to talk about as well i'm just gonna say because that popped in but you're dealing, some of you are dealing with someone's very similar, could literally be a Leo or a Virgo, not necessarily, but, um, it's like, he's interested in the paranormal. He's interested in the things that I do and we can have lengthy conversations about it. But when it comes to his own personal feelings and experiences, he doesn't really like it. He's starting to understand it more. So it doesn't freak him out so it doesn't bother him which is why spirit has been talking to him more lately and he just he's not understanding what they're saying but or you know the psychic visions and stuff that he's getting he doesn't always know that that's what that is but it doesn't freak him out like it did before because he has a better understanding someone was scared because they didn't understand and I feel like you're dealing with somebody like that or, you know, maybe you, that's you and you're watching this going, yeah, you know, it is kind of freaky because I can't see it. Like, I don't want any jump scares or anything like that, you know, and that's not how spirit works, just so you know. Um, I'm not going to go into this whole thing because it's just in one reading and these are supposed to be quick and I'm already taking too long. Um... I was just going to start talking about haunted locations and attachments and stuff. I might have to do a separate video on that. I probably will. I think I'm going to, actually. Anyway, we'll see. So, what's up? This person might want to say, so what's up? They might want to talk to you. I don't know. I almost feel this casualness. Like, this person would be like, hey, hey, loser. Hey, butthead. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 whatever. I don't know. They're just going to say something stupid, like, um, maybe send you a dumbass meme or, I don't know. This is friendly crap. It almost feels kind of childlike, you know, immature crap, but they're doing it as a way to get in to see, like, are you going to answer me? Um, are we going to keep the conversation going? Because it's almost like if we start the conversation this way. Maybe I can lead into what I want to say. Hey, somebody's really worried about... They're not worried, they're stressed. About something they're hearing. They're worried about something they're hearing or something they heard. It's almost like, I wish I didn't say that. I wish I didn't know that. You know, something like that. I don't know. 
All right, well, somebody just does not want to talk, I'm just going to say, or they're just zipping the a different deck. They do want to work together with you. They want to apologize about some conflict at work. For some of you, this person is conflicted about what you do for work, like they don't agree, or no, it's not that. Um, they're conflicted about your whatever you do for work or their own career. They're just focused on that. And it's just like, I'm fighting to stay afloat, basically. This is... I'm sorry for causing problems. Somebody's sorry for causing problems. Potentially, yeah, I was thinking of the internet. Potentially with some type of work collaboration online. There's Someone works online, even if it's just as a side hustle, whatever. Um... And there was some type of conflict through this work. I don't know whether you, I don't think you were really aware of it. I really don't. Someone's just causing problems behind the scenes and they're being judged for it. It's almost like the universe is halting forward movement for whoever was creating this conflict. Someone was stealing your work ideas. That's what it feels like. It's almost like watching something that you do and it's like, oh, that'd be a good idea. And we're just going to take from what you're doing kind of thing. Someone's doing that. Did someone think they were doing that or did it actually? It actually No, they were doing that. And... Whatever they're doing for work, because of it, it's stopping. It's like, they're not getting subscribers, they're not getting many views, like they're not seeing the progression like they should. And it's because of this conflict. But some of starting problems. For others of you, that has nothing to do with work. There's somebody behind the scenes that wants to work together with you or with whoever your love interest is and they were causing hate and discontent online. It's like online bullying bullshit is what it feels like or just talking shit. Yeah, someone's being fucking sneaky online. What the hell is up with this energy? It just will not cease and desist. I mean, jeez. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Like, it really is. Somebody could be trying to heal from their own fuck shit, you know, like, they're not trying to heal. Whoever the hell this is, this feels like somebody different. I don't know, Who, whoever the hell this is to you, it could be, it could even be your love interest or somebody you thought was your fucking friend, but what's stopping healing and balancing out the situation is the sneaky crap. Because somebody is not telling the truth. They're holding back. They're holding back the bullshit. What the fuck? Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to stop your manifestations. They're trying to stop something from coming in for you. Like a wish. Like, oh, I know what you're wishing for. We're going to make sure that don't fuck. Yeah, we're going to make sure that don't fucking happen. Because that's in the recent past. And this is like calling it making your dreams come true no matter what that means to you well there is angelic help here for you so don't worry about that i the stupid crows <laughs> can't fuck it up apparently i don't know they keep fucking up because this guy's sneaking around but he's got the bag full of feathers and they keep falling out so it's like spirits going here's a sign here's a sign here's a sign Listen to your intuition because there's someone pulling some fuck shit. Look, I got the crow feather back there. That was the one that someone put in my purse. I found one. I don't think I ever mentioned this. I found one, another crow feather on the route that I walk when I do walk. And it was underneath like a heavy branch. Like someone put it there and put the stick or rock or whatever because it, was, it wasn't it was buried, but it was so the wind wouldn't carry it away. 
if somebody put something heavy on it, it wouldn't naturally fall that way. I mean, coincidence, who knows, doubt it. And then in the cemetery I found, I found them fucking everywhere, but someone's leaving you clues as to who this is and what's going on. And maybe they want to come in and fucking tell you because they're feeling, yeah, they're feeling really shitty about whatever they did. Because you walked away. If I'm not happy, you're not happy. Something like that, but it's like this person hurt you by sneaking away, ultimately, by not moving forward and then now they're hurting because you left the fire burning and you're walking away like if, you, if, if you're gonna turn around all I can see is your fucking ass how's mine look and it's almost like the magnets they were turned around and as you went this way they're like <laughs> so now they're looking at you now I want to start singing you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find. You get what you need. Yes, you do. <laughs> and the truth is coming in because that's what you need. Because it's coming in really fast. Holy fuck. This is fast forward movement. <laughs> Why am I thinking of that? making me think of the movie Labyrinth when I did this at the river but I could see her foot footprints in the sand but I was imagining those little dudes like moving the tiles around like wah, 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 when she was putting the lipstick arrows down and it's like the universe is sweeping away your footprints so they can't follow you so if there was a tracking device or if someone was legit stalking you like keeping hardcore tabs on you um, something's, the power's been cut. Because I drew that line down over and out. But I was thinking of power lines because, you know, people do utility work and crap like that. And I was watching some dudes up the road pull cables and crap and lines for that. But, um, and I was like, maybe that's what it was. No, it's line down if someone was listening they can't hear you anymore so that's good they could piss off um but that's because the universe came in and stopped something they're trying to stop a problem yeah they're trying to stop they're trying to stop a problem it's like if you won't open your mouth and blah 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 if you won't do the right thing then, motherfucker, we will. Yep, and someone might not be very happy about it. Someone feels a little left out. Because you're just single and abundant doing your own thing. It's like, I'm gonna rock this bitch no matter if you like it or not. Go fuck yourself. You know? It's like, living your best life. Sometimes that is like, the best medicine. Or the best revenge, or whatever. Is your own success. So, you know, if you're looking good, feeling good got money in the bank or you're working towards that your career's taking off whatever you're doing for you and you're just in a good place because you let go of the complicated mess and you're just happy and living life <coughs> and they're not they're miserable whoever this person is they are whatever that is to you um that's their own karma you know that's what you get felt like I got pinched. My dad used to do that, like to get your attention. He'd do like the monkey bite thing on your shoulder. Infinite possibilities just went. <sighs> when the last leaf falls, that's when love calls. You know what's weird too? I'm just gonna say this right quick. I know it's supposed to be short, but whatever. Anyways, I just love talking to you guys. Um, I just can't stay away. Maybe that's what someone's saying or they want to say like, I just can't stay away from your ass. 
I said that the problem is here and it was a circle with an A like Apple devices because my iPad has a case with a, and it's circling the Apple logo. Well, I was being hacked and stalked and all that crap through my phone. Well, I reset all that. My phone's fine now. Like it's, it sucks. I lost so much stuff. Like I'm wondering if it's like hidden on the cloud somewhere. I don't know. I got to check it out. But regardless of that, like it kind of bummed me out that I had to reset everything. Some of it's on the iPad, but not all of it transferred because I had tried to disconnect the devices from one another when I realized I was hacked. But anyways, um, I've had that turned off and wouldn't turn it on at all because I was just like, it was connected to my old Apple and my old cloud and whatever. Well, I'm not even kidding you. I turned it off, fixed the phone, whatever. And I was totally, I don't know, I wasn't talking to myself or anything because even my kids were going like, Mom, you really talk to yourself a lot. No, when I was talking out loud and no one was in the room, I was talking to spirit for one, but I was also talking to whoever was listening to me through through the device and I could feel it. I knew they were listening. I knew it. I'm like, I don't know exactly who you are, but that's who I was talking to. And I know that for a fact now because I mean, like what, seriously, once I shut everything down and, and fixed everything, I haven't been talking to myself. I haven't been talking to them alone in my room or anything like that. Like I will just minorly, but it's not like having full on conversations. Like it was excessive when someone was listening. And then I just turned it back on yesterday or the day before. Cause I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck who it is. If they could still hear me, maybe they gave up by now. I want the bigger screen when I'm watching a movie or something. So I turned it on. Guess what? When it's on, I started talking again, alone in my room. I'm like, why the fuck am I talking out loud again like this? I was like, oh, the iPad's on. Also drew the picture of X marks the spot in the bed. And that's where my iPad was because I just wing it on the bed. Just saying. Strength. What is it? Beat me. What is it? Beat me, hate me, but you will never break me. They don't care about us. That song by Michael Jackson. I don't know, that lyric sticking out. Anyways, I don't know why I wanted to share that with you guys of all people, but there's a Gemini involved, that's why. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. A couple of them, actually. In my situation, but that could be going on for some of you, too. Like, something similar. But that was just my little, my little thing at the end. But anyways, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace.